Welcome to Raw Talks. I'm your host, Lenore, and here is where the people connect to the story. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. Thank you so much for watching my previous video and tuning in to watch the video today. So we're going to talk about something extremely unique, and it is the Rebecca anointing. So if you're not familiar with the scripture, Genesis chapter 24, let's say verses, just the whole chapter, to be honest. This aspect is talking about... Um, when Rebecca was chosen to be Isaac's wife by Abraham's senior servant, okay? I'm gonna need you all to pay close attention, okay? Because there are some of us who need the Rebecca anointing, which is the anointing of kindness, the identifier that people are looking for, and you're gonna carry it. So let's bring a little bit more clarity to what's going on. Come here. So Abraham trusted his servant to go and find Isaac a wife. He didn't want just any wife. He wanted a wife from his own homeland. And if you know the, the history of Abraham, Abraham traveled a lot of different places. He lived a lot of different places. But he said, no, if, if I'm going to find a wife for my son, she needs to come from where I come from. Okay. So the servant, he blessed the servant and the servant said, okay, but we're going to pay close attention to verse 12 through um 14 it says then he prayed lord god of my master abraham make me successful today and show kindness to my master abraham see i am standing beside the spring and the daughters of the town people are coming out to draw water may it be that when i see it, say to a young woman please let down your jar that i may have a drink and she says drink and and i'll water your camels too let her be the one you have chosen for your servant Isaac. By this, I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. And before that, in a couple earlier verses, it talks about how um, Abraham told his servant, and he will send an angel before you so that you can get a wife for my son. I jumbled over that. But anyway, um, I just thought that that was super unique. So I believe that the angel of the Lord was sent before Isaac because Abraham assigned him to do something. And we know that angels are released as messenger angels. So I believe the angel went before the servant to set the atmosphere, to communicate even with the young lady, where to be at what time to do what, and just to be in the space to make sure that that connection was divine. Cause we know about stories in the Bible where the angels will be caught up and they will be held up in the spirit. Um, rim and because they're wrestling with demonic angelic um, spirits so the angels have warfare too so we also need to intercede for them but I digress that's a whole different topic for a whole different day but I want to share just an experience that I had that even brought about this revelation so the other day I went um, outside and I walked past a homeless man two homeless men the first homeless man asked me for 30 cent and I was like I don't think I have 30 cents, like, because who cares around change? So God was just like, look in your purse. So I looked in my purse and I had more than 30 cents. I had a lot of change, which I didn't even know was in there. So I gave it to the man and he was just so grateful. The next man asked me, um, would you mind buying me um, a sandwich from Chick-fil-A and a coffee? So I said, I'm thinking in my head, do I want to buy this man some food? Do I not want to buy this man some food? It wasn't that I didn't. Like, I was just like, ugh, no, I ain't doing it. But I remember, I said, I remember when I ain't had nothing. And I actually have it to give. Sometimes we can be so used to saying, I don't have. When we actually do have, we forget that we have. If you if you can be honest, that has been you before. If you've been struck with poverty and lack for a long time. But we have to remember not to keep our hand closed, but to give. It said, give and it shall be given back to you. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. That's what the Bible says. So I immediately just got this enthusiasm and I asked him specifically what he wants. So I went to Chick-fil-A, got the food, came right back. And as I was handing him his food, it was a group of people, like a male a male, and a couple females, and they were looking at me as I was giving this um, homeless man this Chick-fil-A. So then as I'm crossing the street, on the opposite side of the street, this man walks up to me and says, can I get some Chick-fil-A too? So I'm looking in my head like, you do not look homeless. But then I had another check. 
homeless don't have a look. Because when I was homeless, people didn't know I was homeless. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, well, I don't really have it to give. But I pray that the Lord bless you with some Chick-fil-A. And he's like, how do you know I was a man of God? And I'm thinking in my head, for real. Anyway, so um, he goes on to talk and I said, well, I don't have that Mac, I don't have Chick-fil-A to get. So what do you want? And he was like, oh, um, can I get some Mac and, Mac and Lobster? It was like at a restaurant that was nearby. And I was like, well, I've never had that before. And he was like, oh, well, I could get that for you. Long story short, the man was just trying to talk to me and I was kept playing the scenario over and over in my head as I was walked back to my house as I was being in my house. And I'm like, God, why did that man feel led to say something to me when he was not in need? Like, and then try to give me his number and like try to fake ask me on a date. And I wasn't even attracted to him. So I asked God that question and I just kind of went about my day and the Holy Spirit said he was attracted to your kindness. That's why everybody was looking. And I'm like, dang. And you just don't realize how kindness is not as popular as it should be because of the society that we live in. It's YOLO. Do um, do everything for yourself. Like, don't help people. But there's still people out there help people, you know? So then I was telling my friend later on that evening um, about what happened. And she was like, oh, you remember that story of Rebecca when Abraham was trying to find a wife for Isaac? She was identified by her kindness. And then I was like, yes, the Rebecca anointing, the anointing of kindness. So I just was mind blown off of that. And I wanted to share this revelation with y'all. So I hopefully that I brought clarity to some things. And I hope that you'll be able to operate in your Rebecca anointing in this season. And it will open up supernatural doors for you because you're doing and being who God called you to be authentically. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. And just feel free to watch some of the other videos. Click the links in the description and purchase my books, Blind Faith, The Deeper Things, and Prophetic Phrases. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, I got a podcast called Raw Talks TV with Lenore. That link is below too. Subscribe. Love y'all. Bye.